Straight flow and eyes on the climbing I decide no man at the climbing Burning bitches in my third trimester Shift eyes, they tell me you lying Don't care, just lay it beside me Hey time, chasing the rewind Hey time Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Elaine LeVette, and this is just a realistic morning of me waking up at the last minute and running late. Not really running late, but I'm not a roll out of bed type of person, even though I work from home, but that's exactly what I did this morning. I already did my skincare. I just made my coffee, and as you can see, I made the simplest, that's my simple, quick, in a hurry coffee this morning. I already turned on my computer, and that's pretty much all I did. I did my skincare off camera, made my bed. I'm gonna make that bed, regardless of how late I am, and that's it. Threw on quick little one, two, just a little uh, long sleeve and some tights. And I am at my desk ready to start my day. And I'm going to check back in with y'all a little bit later because it is time for me to start my day. And I will come back and talk to y'all in just a bit. Hey, y'all. I forgot to pick back up my camera. Well, I don't want to say forgot. It's just been a real busy and all over the place day or morning for me. It is actually 12 o'clock right now. I've already went to lunch. I ate some leftovers from last night. And I'm just sitting here at my desk right now. And y'all, I just want to come back and say, like, whoever thinks working from home is easy, it's not. Of course, it has advantages and disadvantages, but it's not easy. People think, like, because you work from home, it's easy. And because we don't have to go anywhere and we're at home, it is not easy. It is so many cons to working from home at least for me there's a lot of pros but i have a lot of cons and one of my main ones is feeling like i have no social life and like not interacting with people like on a day-to-day -day basis during the working day in person like everything is teams zoom chat and just over the phone and the internet nothing's like in person so it can be very very isolating and then very very depressing sometimes and like i'm not even like a extroverted super extroverted person i'm more i would say a little bit on the introvert side but i'm okay being alone like i consider myself mainly like a loner i'm okay like being by myself but even for a person like me this can be very depressing so i already know for someone who is actually more extroverted than me it's probably even more depressing sometimes, but you have to find like a work-life balance when you work from home. You have to make it a point to get up and have outside activity, leave the house maybe for lunch or leave the house after work or whatever the case may be. Because if you don't, it's times when you can find yourself sitting in the house from the time you start work until the end of the day and doing it for five days a week and then before you know it the whole work week went by and you didn't even step foot out you didn't even step foot outside like that is not good i've actually done that a couple times and it's not good like so i try to make it a point to whether if i don't go anywhere i'll sit outside or just do something but you have to get away from this desk sometimes like you just have to i will i will say today is going by kind of fast because I'm already like over halfway through my day and this is supposed to be like another work day in my life vlog which it is still going to be but I skipped out a lot of stuff but all I did was just get up and do my normal routine. I was rushing this morning. I did not want to get up but and then I kind of worked. I had my break and then I had my lunch and now I'm on kind of my last stretch almost but overall it was a good day but I just want to come on here and just talk about that because a lot of people don't talk about like the negatives that working from home can have. And then another negative is um, the the posture. Like me, the way I'm sitting right now is not good, but 
Working from home and sitting at a desk can cause so many like strains on your back, your legs. Like you can buy different kinds of chairs. Like I have a standing desk, so that kind of helps because I can get up and like just stand up in my desk. But still, just the overall work from home experience and having to be behind a desk can be very, very like draining on your body. And then not to mention the eyes, like looking at computer screens all day is very, very damaging to the eyes too. If you're not like wearing like those blue light blocking glasses or have like a screen on your computer that blocks that blue light, you may not notice it like right away, but over time it can dry out your eyes and cause you eye issues. Like I've already started, started realizing like I'm having a lot more migraines, a lot more headaches. I have the blue light blocking glasses and I wear them like sometimes, but I don't wear them all the time. But I'm thinking about just getting a screen so I don't have to just wear the glasses 24 seven. But I've already noticed like I get a lot more headaches now and I'm pretty sure it's because I'm looking at a computer screen all day. Back to what I was saying. But yeah, so if you work from home, I suggest protect your eyes, do whatever you have to do, especially if you plan on doing it long term because it can be um, damaging and I'm I'm trying to take my own advice. I am taking my own advice too. So taxing on the body, taxing on the eyes, taxing on your social life. Um, those are just three of the major things that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis working from home. Now, do I enjoy working from home? Yes, because some days it's nice not having to get up and get dressed and actually drive to work especially when it's freezing cold or it's raining outside. It's like a huge advantage to be able to just work from home. So you kind of just have to find that balance and make it work for you. Like that's just my advice on anyone who actually works from home. Just a little background, I came before I started working from home from working in the construction industry. So I was working out in the, in the plants and I actually enjoyed it like I did. I worked a lot of hours is the reason I got out of it. I was working shutdowns, 13 hour days straight, one day off, and then I was working 12, 13 hour days. Now was I making a lot of money because I was getting a ton of overtime? overtime? Yes, the money was great, but I was missing out on a lot of activities with my kids and my family. There was a lot of things and events that I couldn't go to because I was working on Saturdays, on Sundays. So I was missing out on a lot and then just over time, the money became a little bit less important than my time. I just wanted a job that was balanced out my time to where I just worked regular 40 hours, maybe a little bit of overtime here and now, and I still had my freedom. Uh, may not be getting as much overtime, but I have more time, more freedom to kind of do what I want to do and enjoy life. Because to me, we have one life and I want to enjoy mine and not just have a whole bunch of money yes who doesn't want money but what good is money if you're always at work and you don't have time to enjoy it and spend it so that's kind of how i saw it and that's the reason i got out of that industry and then i started working from home and it was so new to me like i had never worked from home when i tell you it's like a whole adjustment to me like the first couple of months were the hardest but that's just that's just a little backstory on me just a little information about my backstory and my experience working from home and y'all if y'all got any suggestions on chairs that are comfortable or good for back support for working from home please leave them down in my comments because this chair that i have needs to go in the trash and it is going to go in the trash i got it off amazon probably like a year and a half ago when i first started working from home and i soon realized it is not a great chair and it is very uncomfortable so i stand most of the time and when i am sitting i always end up with back pains when sitting in this chair and the reason why i know it's this chair is because when i'm off on the weekends my back does not bother me but during the week it hurts so bad so yeah please leave me any suggestions anybody who works from home what kind of chair do y'all have i even thought about getting like one of those exercise balls and it's like a chair I heard a lot of people say that kind of helps with the back, but of course there's no back support with that. So I didn't know if I actually wanted to get that because sometimes I do want to just kind of lean back. And with that, you won't be able to just lean back. It kind of just helps with posture. So yes, please leave me chair recommendations. Just put them down in my comments. It will be greatly appreciated. And y'all, I'm sitting here contemplating on taking these braids out. Really, I'm dreading taking these braids out, but they need to come out. They raggedy. 
they are raggedy. Like, I ain't gonna get too close, but they raggedy. And the only reason I didn't take them out the beginning of this week, Valentine's Day tomorrow, just in case my boyfriend decides to surprise me and take me out, I didn't want to be looking, you know, looking rough. So, I'm going to leave these in a couple more days, but hopefully I get these out my head by the end of the week. At least the weekend so that I can get my hair redone. And I don't know if I want to go with box braids again, but just add a little color. Or if I want to just kind of take my braids out and do the glueless wig thing. But I'm trying to figure out what it is I want to do. But all I know is these braids got to come out. And they got to come out ASAP. Like, they've probably been in my head about three months, so I definitely got my money's worth. And, yeah. But, I'm just sitting here, letting time pass, scrolling TikTok and scrolling the internet. Um, I just made a video with some work-from-home jobs that I found. For those, of you, for those of you who don't know, I do post, post work-from-home jobs on my TikTok page whenever I come across them. Most of them are entry-level because I'm trying to help people who actually just want to get started work from home working from home so I just posted a video if you want to check it out but yeah as I was saying I post jobs over there on my page so if you want to check it out you can and then that's pretty much it y'all and also I do the Amazon influencer program um, I do really well with that program and I try to help people so I created like two digital guides uh, one is just a sign up step by step because you know some people can figure this step by step I mean the sign up information out and then some people just want the information handed so I have a step by step guide and then a second guide that comes with it that just teaches you how to unlock the next level which is the on site commissions uh, which you do want to unlock because that's how you're going to like earn the start earning more commission but as I was saying I have those two guides available they'll be linked down below in my snip fee store but they are available for purchase it's only $15 for both and it just teaches you how to sign up become an Amazon influencer and then also unlock that next level for anyone who just want to make extra money extra income because I'm all about extra income and helping people learn how to do that uh, but I am about to go to break. I'm just finishing to relax for a second and drink me some water. Probably step outside and get some sunlight. And that's it, y'all. And I'll check back in with y'all in just a moment. Hey y'all, I'm just checking back in. It is 2.50 and yes, I did VTO. I get off at 3.15, but I am off now because I vto the last 30 minutes. If you don't know what that is, that's voluntary time off. I'm leaving, getting off this clock. I'm about to run and run some errands real quick, but I just wanted to check in with y'all and let y'all know I am done for today and thank goodness. I am about to make myself get out this house and go get some stuff from the grocery store real quick. Just a couple items. I love curbside and also delivery. But today, I'm actually not going to do that so that I can get out the house. Get out the house. I'm actually going to go in the store and pick up my items instead of doing curbside. Even though I love curbside so much. But I just wanted to check in with y'all and let y'all know my day is over. I hope y'all had a great day. I hope that... Whether you work from home, I hope whether you work from home or in the office that you had a great day or that you do have a great day. And I just wanted to come back and say happy Tuesday.
got a quick little haul for y'all. Went to the store, y'all, when I got off work today. And I actually went inside. I did not do curbside. So, yes, yeah, super proud of myself for that. Because if you know me, to know me is to know that it's curbside, baby. All day, every day. So, now, I did not go in the store for this creamer. I told y'all, the only creamer I drink is Italian sweet cream creamer. Why did I leave out the store with this Mean Girls limited edition pink creamer? I've been seeing it all over TikTok and the internet, so I've been influenced. So I got this. So we're going to see how this... I don't even think it has taste. It says pink frosting, but I'm just going to use it as a... Probably just to put on top of the coffee. I got me some chips. These are my favorite chips. Well, one of my favorite chips is the flaming Hot Cheddar and Sour Cream. I only got these because the main reason I went to the store today is because I was craving guacamole. So I had to go get avocados so that I can actually make the guacamole. So they somewhere in one of these bags. So I got two of these so that I can make the guacamole. I got some lunch meat, just salami. I love salami. I don't care about all that fancy lunch meat. If I had to choose out of all of that meat, I always go back to salami. I don't know what it is about it. Whatever. I love salami. All right. And then I got some Fruity Pebbles. I'm not big on cereal, but every now and then I do crave cereal. And y'all, I had the regular Fruity Pebbles in the basket. And then I saw the women, the women version. Women who rock. So it's just like pink, purple, and blue. So same flavor, it's just different colors. So... I thought that was cute. Oh yeah, and I went for coffee. I don't care what y'all say. Great Value has the best coffee, but you gotta get the dark French roast because by the time you put the creamer and syrup and all the other sweet shit that we put in coffee, you wanna have a dark roast. You wanna start with a dark roast, so by the time you get done fixing it up, it tastes perfect. So that's my reason for getting dark roast. Oh, here are the avocados. I got not sure why I got this many avocados, but we're gonna make it work. And y'all, it wouldn't be a trip if I didn't find a cup. Like when I tell y'all I have too many cups, I have too many cups. Y'all found two cups. Two cups, y'all. Two. So they both said they were about, I think, six dollars or seven dollars. This one right here was actually six or seven dollars. This one rung up for a dollar. Y'all wanted to jump out of line so bad just to go get another one. Why do I need multiple of the same cup? I don't know. But when I saw one dollar, I was like, one dollar? Wait a minute. And they had a ton of them. Ain't that cute? Starbucks who? Starbucks who? <laughs> All right, and then I got some wine. Favorite wine, y'all. Stella Rose Red. If you get Stella Rose, Stella Rose Red or Stella Rose Black. I got some more mouthwash. I like the baby blue one, the icy mint. Oh, and then I got two Celsius. Haven't tried either flavor, but I got the... Fuji apple pear, and then I got the sparkling fruit punch, cosmic vibe edition. So I got those two. Oh, and then I also got this. I've been seeing this all over. Not sure how good it's gonna be, but it's a mouthwash, the oil pulling oil rinse. Once I use it a few times, I'll come back and let y'all know what it's talking about. Oh, and then I also got the NYX Butter Gloss. Y'all, I have multiple NYX Butter Glosses, but only in like brown shades. Every shade I have is a brown shade or like a nudist shade. So I got these two. Don't know how they're going to look, but we're going to make it work. I got two in case I need to mix the two, but can't go wrong with NYX Butter Gloss. Butter Gloss. I love these glosses. And then I also stopped by Dollar General. Just to get straws. 
If you know me, I drink almost everything out of a straw, even my coffee. These cost $1 on the aisle at the Dollar General and you get 80 straws. And then I got the Zero Sugar Powder Drink Starburst, the only flavor that I buy. I got the cherry and the strawberry. These taste good. You wouldn't even know that they were sugar free. And last but not least, I stopped by my P.O. Box and picked up all my mail. And I had a package, y'all. Let me get it. I had a PR package. So when I stopped by my P.O. Box, I also had a P.O. package in there. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a portable charger. Not sure, but I picked this up as well. And that's it, y'all. That's my little quick little shopping haul. Had me a quick little out outing once I got off work. Okay, y'all, so that's the end of my night. I had a good day at work. I went to the store. I actually got out and went in. I got me two new cups. Anytime I get new cups, like, it's a win-win. And when you get them for six, seven dollars and one for a dollar, I mean, who is it hurting? So, I'm happy. I just got done uh, unloading all this stuff. I'm about to take me a shower and probably relax. And probably do, maybe do some content. I don't know, but I'm about to take me a shower and relax. I am exhausted. Don't ask me why I'm exhausted, but I am exhausted. But I had a great day today. I hope y'all had a great day. I hope y'all had a good day at work. Whether you work from home, whether you go to an actual 9 to 5 at an actual, you know, outside of the house. I hope that your day was good. I hope this was a good Tuesday. And we ready for hump day tomorrow. So if you enjoyed my content, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.